Hi, in the past decade, the Arduino family of boards became the most popular hardware platform for microcontrollers. In this short video tutorial, you'll learn how to use Arduino Uno as ISP to burn bootloader on other Arduino boards such as Arduino Nano and Arduino Leonardo. You will see the exact steps, however, keep in mind that this is an advanced tutorial and do it on your own risk. On Arduino boards, the bootloader executes at every reset of the board and looks for a sketch to be uploaded from the USB port or if such is not detected, it loads the already existing sketch. Depending on the Arduino model, there is a different bootloader. ISP stands for in-system programming and it is a protocol for uploading a bootloader to a microcontroller. There are different ways how to do it. There are dedicated ISP devices, but the cheapest way is what you're gonna see in this video using an Arduino Uno. There are several reasons why you might want to burn a bootloader on your Arduino. You may want to recover a bricked Arduino board. You may want to upload a newer version of the bootloader to your Arduino. The most interesting case is if you need to install a bootloader on a brand new Arduino compatible device. This is specifically useful for people designing their own hardware. This video contains two demonstrations. The first is to use UNO as Arduino ISP and burn a bootloader to Nano. Both of these boards are with microcontroller at Mega 328 but have different shapes. Please note that in this video tutorial I'm not using a genuine Arduino boards. Arduino is a trademark and here I have clones which are not manufactured by Arduino and therefore they don't have the Arduino branding on them. We need appropriate USB cables, wire cables to connect the two boards and it's very important to have an appropriate 10 microfarads capacitor. Step number one, connect Arduino Uno to your computer, open Arduino IDE and load the example for Arduino ISP. Compile it and after that upload it to your Arduino Uno. This way you're gonna convert the Uno as an Arduino ISP and use it as a programmer to flash bootloader on other boards such as Arduino Nano and Arduino Leonardo. Step number two is super important. Add 10 microfarad capacitor between the ground and reset pin on Arduino Uno. To be honest, I didn't have a 10 microfarad capacitor here, so I did it with 22 microfarad capacitor and it still was working fine. Connect the long leg of the capacitor to the reset pin on Arduino Uno and the short leg of the capacitor to ground. You have to add the capacitor after you have already flashed the Arduino ISP sketch to the Uno. Step number three, connect Uno to Arduino Nano. Arduino Uno is going to be the Arduino ISP programmer and the Nano is going to be the board on which we're gonna burn a new bootloader. Arduino Nano has a dedicated ISP header. Using jumper wires connected to the Arduino Uno as shown in the video. It is using the SPI interface with the pins for MOSI, MISO, clock, reset, ground and 5 volts. Although in the video I'm using a small breadboard, you can do the same without it and directly connect the two boards. Check the links in the description of the video for the exact wiring. Step number 4 is to burn the new bootloader to Arduino Nano. Launch Arduino IDE. From Tools, select Board Arduino Nano. Again, from the Tools menu, select Burn Bootloader. The Arduino ISP sketch on Uno will automatically establish a connection to Nano and upload an appropriate bootloader. It is recommended to enable verbose output in the preferences of Arduino IDE and to monitor the progress of the burning of the bootloader. It will take a moment. When the burning of the bootloader to Arduino Nano has been successfully completed, we need to power cycle the board, in other words to reboot it, and after that we can test it. For a quick test, I'm uploading the Arduino example for blinking LEDs to Arduino Nano. As you can see, the LED is blinking and everything is working as expected. 
we have a fully functional Arduino Nano. This means that the procedure for burning a bootloader from Arduino Uno to Arduino Nano has been successful. The same four steps can be adapted for other Arduino or Arduino compatible boards, for example Arduino Leonardo or a board with Atmega 32U4. Here I have the very first prototype of a new board that I'm working on. It is with Atmega 32U4 microcontroller and 8 mechanical keys. The end result is going to be a macro pad. In order to use this prototype, the first thing that I need to do is to upload an appropriate bootloader. It is a one-time procedure and after that I'll be able to upload Arduino sketches just like on Arduino Leonardo. While designing the board, I have left a special ISP header to simplify the process. Again, I'm going to use Arduino Uno and connect it with mail-to-mail um, -mail jumper wires. In Arduino IDE, from Tools, I select board Arduino Leonardo because Arduino Leonardo is also using Atmega 32U4 and in terms of the bootloader, my custom board is going to have the same bootloader as Arduino Leonardo. Both Arduino Uno and my custom board have to be connected to a power source and when I'm ready, I just hit the burn bootloader from the tools menu of Arduino IDE. The process is pretty much the same as for Arduino Nano, the only difference is that in this case I've selected Arduino Leonardo because this board has a different microcontroller. The burning of the bootloader takes a moment, again I'm monitoring the verbose output in Arduino IDE to verify that it has been completed successfully. Now comes the most interesting part, let's try out this prototype. I'm going to flush it with the open source firmware of a project called Quantum Mechanical Keyboards. It is very popular among mechanical keyboard enthusiasts. The firmware generated with QMK controls the 8 keys, the mini OLED display as all the LEDs for the backlit and an addressable LED strip on the back of my board. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these two demonstrations how to use Arduino Uno as ISP. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.